Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. I've got a bit of a headphone review today for you. Look, I'm checking these out. Can you see this? So these are the Open Rock Pro by One Audio. But as you guys know, I don't like sitting here doing just sit on the sofa reviews. I want to go out and test these. So we're going to quickly open them, have a little look in the box, and then we're going to chuck them on and see what they're like. Right, so inside the box you get this very funky futuristic case headphones are in there as you can see i'll put a bunch of information up here about the headphones one thing i have to say that really stood out about these for me was the battery life lasts for 46 hours so if you're planning a 46 hour bike ride these headphones will last the entire duration of that ride and they also have this really cool fast charge feature so you charge them for five minutes and it'll give you an hour of play time Nice funky sci-fi kind of case. It does have this like really good like magnet feature in there. So look, it just like the headphones go straight in. Oh, there we go. So, so the headphones go straight in and they hold and they charge and they don't fall out when you tip it upside down. There we go. And they're an open design as well, which means that they don't have a bud that actually sits in your ears. So when you put them on, you have a little bit more awareness of stuff around you. You can still hear slightly. Right, I haven't actually tried these on yet. I have charged them. They have this bit here as well, so you can adjust it to like any ear type, which is quite funky. So it's actually an adjustable thing. I think I've got it far too big now. They do feel slightly loose. Like, can you see? So there's a little bit of a flap there. So it's a bit... So my concern is if I'm riding gravel, call you really close, and my head's bouncing like this, are they going to fall off? And it seems like they're not going to fall off. So we will get the bike, go outside and see how they fit around the helmet and all that stuff and see how they sound outside. Wind noise is an important factor when it comes to like headphones like this. You know, you can get a lot of wind noise, a lot of interference. I want to test out like the microphone on these as well. They have got like buttons and controls on them so you can do all your like skipping and volume, I believe, with that. I mean, it's quite nice. And then this is the bit that flexes so you can like change the shape of your ear, etc. So quite cool. So I think we should slap these on, get the bike out the garage, go for a bit of a ride, test these in the real world, and, uh, and see how they do outside. Because honestly, you're not going to sit there at home with your headphones in. Well, you might, listening to podcasts and stuff, or doing your cleaning, or on the indoor trainer. But realistically, we're going to be using these outside. Right. Let's go get the bike. Been riding for a little bit. Um, I've done some like off-roady stuff, some road stuff, and do you know what? I thought they'd be a bit loose. And once you give them a little squish, it's actually pretty tight and pretty snug. And enjoy, you know it's really nice. You can hear a lot more that's going on around you with in-ear headphones like earbuds. Like I can only wear one because you know if I wear two, completely deaf to anything outside. We can't hear cars, can't hear things behind me. It's it's pretty dangerous. So I get the sound in both ears, but I can still hear. So yeah, definitely rate it. Um, I don't know if I said they are like IP. IPX5, you know, like rainproof, basically. Like you can't go swimming in them, you can't fully submerge them, but you know, there should be a deal with like sweat, rain, all that stuff. Oh, I never mentioned the price either. So these are actually quite expensive. It's 78 pounds, you can get them on, on AliExpress at the moment, they're on sale, or I think the normal retail price is about 102 pounds. So I said it puts them on a slightly more expensive side, but like 46 hours battery life, comfortable, can hear your surroundings. Like so far, so good, you know, and they're really easy to put on, take off, so the downside to me would be the fit like as you can see it is a little bit loose like a little bit wobbly you know but it hasn't fallen off yet and we're gonna go right down a really steep like gravel trail in a second and if they don't fall off on that they're not falling off at all the sunglasses fit look see so putting sunglasses on no issue at all they don't really seem to like can you see am i pointing that at my ear they don't seem to interfere with it like at all so yeah sunglasses work helmet works the straps don't get in the way so for cycling which does have like i'd say the most accessories around your ears you know compared to running or something else no issues again like i struggle at putting my glass but you get the point all right i'm gonna bless you there we go see nice it's so not a lot of bad points really just like the fit you know which i suppose could be quite a biggie and then the price would put them out of some people's reach they were super easy to pair there was like no issues like i literally just connected them to my phone and now i know that they're good for the next 46 hours so that's really good yeah what do you guys reckon Personally, I can't ride without music. I, I went for a ride the other day and I forgot my headphones. 
and it, and it was just a bit weird. It's weird, right? I go outside to enjoy nature, but I need to have music on because it's just a bit too peaceful outside. But then with these, I suppose I get to enjoy nature a little bit and music as well because you get like to hear around you. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on this ride because I'm really enjoying it and listen to some more music. So let's carry on. <laughs> Okay, so currently listening to a podcast, testing it out on a podcast. Spoken words, really nice. I've noticed with some of these like bone conducting e type, not in your ear headphones, the wind noise can be really, really bad. And I haven't noticed it at all. Like obviously there's wind noise, but like I can still hear my music like really clearly. And I don't have to pause it, I can hear behind me. I rate it. I'm just not sure about the look. That's my only, only downside. So the Open Rock Pro by One Audio, One Audio, One Audio, One Audio. I mean, it wouldn't be a review by me without me messing up the actual brand name or product name. One Audio, there we go. Standout feature for me is the 46 hour battery life. It's really good. I often forget to charge my headphones. So with the fact that the case is a charger and they last for 46 hours, I mean, realistically, it's gonna be very hard to run out of charge. I wasn't particularly into the fit of these when I first started using them, but honestly, after an hour on the bike, I actually forgot that I was wearing them. And I'd say that's a sign of something good. You know, if you don't realize you're using it or wearing it, and you just kind of like blends in, that's good, right? I still think they could be a bit more streamlined. They do tend to stick out a little bit, but maybe that's just my ears. You know, everyone's got different shaped ears, so you might not have the same issues. Um, sound quality is amazing and the microphone is really good so on phone conversations I can actually ride along and talk to someone they had a slight bit of wind noise on my end but it wasn't too bad apparently and, and we could talk fine so microphone really good water resistant sound quality is actually really good and you know what's really nice I was riding up the hill today and I heard a lorry coming from so far behind me and I had my headphones in both of them on and I could hear music but I could still hear the lorry behind me so it's just nice that you can do that, you know? So if you are thinking about a new set of headphones, check out the Open Rock Pros. So I'll put links down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.